Redmi Note 10 versus Infinix Note 10 Pro. Ito ang laban na hinitay ko for so long. Alam niyo ba si Redmi Note 10 ang pinakasikat, pinakamabentang smartphone under 10K early this year. Nothing came close to its pagkasulitness. Well, simply because for under 10K, meron ka ng AMOLED display, 5,000 mAh, 33 watts of fast charging. Akala ko wala na tatapat sa kanya in terms of price to specs ratio. Hindi, wow. Pero, nung lumabas si Infinix Note 10 Pro, sabi ko sa lalit ko, Anak, kita mo. Ako na. It's over. <laughs> Guys, itong phone na to ay 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage. Meron siyang Helio G90T processor, 64 MP quad camera setup, at ganun din meron siyang 5,000 mAh of battery, 33 watts of fast charging. But get this, ang kanyang display ay almost 7 inches, full HD plus pa, na merong 90 hertz refresh rate. Yung mga ganyan specs guys ay nahanap lang sa isang phone na 20,000, 30,000 pesos. Pero meron si Infinix Note 10 Pro niyan. Kung hindi ba alam si Infinix, nako. You're missing out on a lot of stuff. Pero tanong, mas okay ba siya kaysa kay Redmi Note 10? Let's find out. Ako si Bins and you're watching Unbox Diaries. Okay, so first of all, yung kanilang itsura. Siyempre naman, sobrang importante ang itsura ng isang phone sa tao. It is the first thing that we see on a phone. Kapag hindi mo tipo yung design, baka kahit anong specs niyan. Pero ayun na nga, pareha silang maganda ang design na. Napaka elegant, napaka premium and modern design. Meron sila yung parang jewel effect sa likod, no? Kapag ka tinatama ng ilaw, parang shiny silver itong si Infinix Note 10 Pro. At ganun din si Redmi Note 10 kapag tinatama ng ilaw, shining, shimmering, splendid. Look at that. Kaya lang ito ay much more simple. Ito naman two-tone. Look at that. Meron pa siya yung parang stripes sa baba. Both actually are beautiful sa likod. Yun nga lang, ang hindi ko na gusto kay Redmi Note 10 is yung kanya CE dito. Medyo madumitingnan para sa akin. Global variant kasi yun ng Xiaomi. Pero kung tingnan naman mga RT, no? This is nothing. The Redmi Note 10 is so beautiful, so sexy, so thin and compact looking. On the contrary, ito naman si Infinix Note 10 Pro ay malaki. It's big. It's a massive phone. Ito na naman, no, kung mahilig ka sa ducks, malaking phone. Kay Infinix Note 10 Pro ka. Ang advantage kasi ng malaking phone, guys, is yung kanyang malaking display. Check that out. Nako, ang laki. Nagmamukhang David itong si Redmi Note 10 dito. At Goliath naman, itong si Infinix Note 10 Pro. Ang laki na difference. Grabe. Pero may anan. Nabalik ka sa likod. In terms of camera, they both are modern looking island style camera si Xiaomi meron siya yung signature niya na hindi ko lang kung signature niya to ha kasi meron may ibang brands pala na ganito it has that big looking lens sa taas may dalawang malilit sa gitna and meron pang malaking lens sa ilalim eto naman si Infinix Note 10 Pro mas simple para parehas yung mga size ng lens as you can see 1, 2, 3, 4 apat yung lens niya LED flash malaki o nga pala nakikita nyo ba yan si Redmi Note 10 pala ay 48 MP now even though malaki yung kanyang lens dito big looking si Infinix Note 10 Pro ay merong 64 MP camera so, Yes, it's not about the sensor size, it's about the megapixel. The joke lang ah. Last mo na yun ah. Siyempre, it's all about the pictures. No? Yung quality, yung overall look niya para sa inyo, if okay siya. Which is mag-compare tayo maya in a bit. Now, in terms of build quality, no? Pretty much the same. Para silang plastic yung back, plastic yung body. Yes, same build quality. Sa gilid naman, para silang merong fingerprint scanner. At the same time, there are also the power buttons. Para yung side ng volume rocker. Sa taas, yun lang. Parang dual speaker ata tong si Redmi Note 10. Isa sa taas at isa sa baba. Oh, wait. Dual speaker pala tong si Infinix Note 10 Pro. Kaya lang ito siya ay front firing speaker. So may earpiece banda yung kanya speaker. And the other one is down firing dito. Pero yes, merong signature. IR Blaster itong si Redmi Note 10. Pwede mo siyang gawing remote sa TV. IR Blaster pa. Ano yung kaya ito eh? Also, meron pa siyang microphone sa taas. And at the bottom, para sila, identical actually. USB Type-C, headphone jack. Meron siyang dual nano SIM card slot plus micro SD card slot for expandability. At ngayon, dito na nagsisimula ang kanilang major difference. And the main reason kung bakit mo sila bibiliin in the first place, ang kanilang display. Now, on the left corner, si Redmi Note 10 ay meron siyang 6.43 inch, 1080p AMOLED display. Si Infinix Note 10 Pro naman ay meron 6.95 inch, lucky, sobrang dux, 1080p din. Kaya lang, meron siyang 90 hertz super fluid display. Ayan ang difference niya guys, mga parang swipe ako. Fluid na fluid ang kanyang itsura. The motion is super smooth para kay Infinix Note 10 Pro. Sobrang suwabe niya tingnan. It makes me feel na sobrang bilis niya compared kay Redmi Note 10. Well, syempre, refresh rate lang yun ha. Na for some mga isang AMOLED display ay sobrang big deal. Not only is it super bright, brighter than the IPS LCD display, then in difference, difference on brightness, but also the image quality coming from an AMOLED display is just stunning. Papakita lang sa inyo ang difference ng picture dito sa Redmi Note 
content compared sa Infinix Note 10 Pro. And ayan, as you can see, mas may buhay talaga kapag ka AMOLED display, mas nagpapop yung color, and overall it just looks a lot more pleasing sa ating mga mata. Yun talaga yung advantage ng AMOLED guys, no? And having AMOLED display at under 10K is just impressive. Yun nga lang, hindi niya kayang isabay ang AMOLED and 90Hz refresh rate at the same time. And you also need to know this, hindi perfect ang AMOLED display. Although it's really good, no? When you see it for the first time, parang super shiny niya, super vibrant and bright. Kaya lang over time kasi, nagkakaroon siya ng problema, which is the AMOLED burn. Katagalan yung display nyo ay magkakaroon ng burning, no? Sa parts niya. Kung hindi mo ba alam to, ito yung discoloration na nangyayari sa screen. Bakit siya nagkakaganyan? Well, yan talaga yung sakit ng mga AMOLED display. Pero kung okay ka na naman sa mga ganon, at uh, kung palipat-lipat ka naman ng cellphone, 6 months ka lang, this is actually a no big deal. Pang matagalan to, walang screen burn, it is the most reliable form of display. At oo, meron pa siyang 90 refresh rate, something na wala si Redmi Note 10 which makes your whole experience much more smoother, faster anything from swiping sa home screen pag scroll sa Facebook everything will look very smooth. At kapag nasanay na yung mata mo sa isang 90Hz refresh rate display katulad nito, feeling mo yung mga displays na 60Hz na katulad ni Redmi Note 10 ay magiging mabagal na. Once you go high refresh rate, you just can't go back. Isa pa is, napansin nyo ba, na habang nag-scroll ako sa Facebook, halos lahat ang laki-laki, ang laki ng mga pictures, ng letters, everything looks big on this phone dito sa Infinix Note 10 Pro. Actually, karami ng mga tao, especially mga bata, mga may edad na, they prefer something very big, no? I don't know what it is, pero Ayun ang charm niya. It's massive size and with a 7 inch display, this is considered a phablet, phone and tablet at the same time. Pero generally, cellphone pa rin siya. The phablet is just a term. At ayun, naglalaro na ako ng Mobile Legends dito. See the difference? Now, kung gusto mo ng magandang graphics, no? Maganda itsura ng game, Redmi Note 10. Kaya kasi, in terms of performance, no? naka-ultra graphics to parehas. That's right, right out of the box, parehas sila merong HFR mode, shadow, and ultra graphics. And as you can see right here, kung mapansin nyo, labang na lang talaga in terms of graphics itong si Redmi Note 10. Maganda itsura, very vibrant yung color, parang ang sharp-sharp tingnan ng mga characters and mga animation. Pero kasi I think high graphics lang yung kaya itong phone na to simply because hindi ganun kabilis yung kanyang processor. Ano ba yung processor nito? It is the Snapdragon 678 processor. Parang extra bilis lang doon sa Snapdragon 660. And si Infinix Note 10 Pro naman ay gumagamit ng Helio G90T. Although medyo tech siya, ang okay kasi sa kanya is kaya niya maglaro ng Mobile Legends at Ultra Graphics na hindi nagpa-frame drops. Sobrang smooth ng experience sa Mobile Legends dito. Actually, sa sobrang kampante ni Infinix sa phone na to. And pretty much all of its phones, no? They even have their own Mobile Legends phone. Ito ang Antutu Benchmark Scores 2 290,000 points si Redmi Note 10 at si Infinix Note 10 Pro naman ay 355,000 na! Now that is fast. Medyo malaki yung agwat, no? For the price, this is essentially 60,000 points difference. Which means, no? Di hamak na sabilis talaga si Infinix Note 10 Pro. Itang kita nyo naman sa gameplay ng Mobile Legends. Si Redmi Note 10 at Ultra Graphics, medyo nagpa-frame drops, medyo nagde-delay. Itong si Infinix Note 10 Pro, 60 frames per second, all throughout, consistent at Ultra Graphics. Kung nakalimutan nyo, dati si Helio G90T ay hindi affordable. Medyo mataas pa yung price niya, pero ngayon, abot kaya na siya. And for under 10K, this is super, super fast. Ganon din kay Call of Duty, no? Ito lang, nagulat ako ha. Usually kasi mga medium tech processor ay uh, hindi optimized for Call of Duty. Kadalasan mga medium graphics lang, high settings lang ang nakuha ko sa MediaTek. Pero with the Infinix Note 10 Pro, with the Helio G90 processor, umabot siya hanggang very high settings, max frame rates. Pero mas nagulat din ako kay Redmi Note 10, no? Although mas mabagay siya kay Infinix, ang kanyang settings ay halos lahat unlocked na. And same na same sila, very high settings, max frame rates din. Kaya lang, when I checked the actual gameplay, lumabas na mas smooth si Infinix Note 10 Pro. Kasi nga, even though naka-unlock yung mga ibang settings, Dyan, it doesn't mean na sim yung kanilang performance. And as you can see right here, mas smooth tingnan talaga itong si Infinix Note 10 Pro. Although, mapansin nyo pa rin na sobrang ganda ng graphics, di ba, ni Redmi Note 10. Yan kasi talaga yung ginagawa ng AMOLED display. Talagang na-enhance niya ang visuals ng game. But yes, if you want the better performing phone, go ka kay Infinix Note 10 Pro. Kung mas competitive ka, Infinix Note 10 Pro. Pero kung gusto mo ng graphics, ay candy Redmi Note 10. But it all comes down to this game. Truly, the difference maker, si Genshin impact. So, tinry ko man na si Infinix Note 10 Pro at medium graphics ganito yung tura niya. Nakata nyo naman siguro sa aking review na sobrang playable ni Infinix Note 10 Pro sa Genshin Impact at medium graphics. As you can see, no, hindi siya nag-frame drops kapag ka nag-zoom in, bimitira, bihirang-bihira lang. And this game looks like it's like uh, 40 frames per second, no? 40 to 50 frames per second yung kanyang itura dito. Kung tutusin, konting-konti lang mga smartphones na nanakagawa nito at under 10K. Kadalasan nangangamote sa Genshin Impact ang mga smartphones under 10K. Pero si Infinix Note 10 Pro, kinakagawa 
kinakaya niya. Well, kasi naman, mid-range processor ang ginamit niya dito, kaya kinakaya niya. Actually, tinry ko sa highest settings, kinakaya pa rin niya. It's still very playable, no? Hindi siya masyado nag-frame drops. I was surprised at this phone, na kaya niya mag-play ng Genshin Impact na ganito consistent even at the highest settings. What an impressive performance coming from the processor or the phone. Siguro dahil 8 gigs of RAM na rin siya. Si Redmi Note 10 ay 6 gigs of RAM lang. By the way, ito pala yung itsura ni Redmi Note 10. So, ang tingin, ang ganda ng graphics niya. Ang lakas ng tingin. Iba talaga nagagawa ng isang AMOLED display for the game. It just enhances the whole look. Kaya lang kasi, kapag nilaro mo na, minove mo na yung character mo, and you look around. No? You pan around, check out the overworld. Malag masyado itong game on the Redmi Note 10. Coming to me as very unplayable na. And this is just low settings case, ha? Naka low settings na yan, pero medyo malag pa rin. Mahirap laro yun ang uh, Genshin Impact ng ganito. So, I tried the lowest settings possible, 30 frames per second, at doon siya naging okay, unfortunately. Pero, as you can see, anayo, side by side with the Infinix Note 10 Pro, masyadong malayo. And that's why, I just think that the best gaming phone right now for under 10k is the Infinix Note 10 Pro. Mahirap siya tapatan for the price. Pero syempre, hindi naman puro games ang smartphone, diba? What if gagamitin mo siya as your daily driver? Pwede ba? Oh, by the way, para sa may ultra-wide angle lens, 8 megapixels, ang lamang lang ni Infinix Note 10 Pro, 64MP siya, at 48MP naman si Redmi Note 10. And here it goes. Kayo na mahal mag-decide kung ano yung gusto nyong itsura. Kasi it's more subjective, no, when it comes to pictures. Pero para sa akin, no, sa aking opinion, ang nakita ko dito is, mas okay yung color ni Redmi Note 10 dito. Mas natural, mas sharp, and mas detailed. So, ibig sabihin, it's not about the megapixels, but it's actually more about the sensor. Plus, yung image processing. I think wala naman problema sa sensor ni Infinix Note 10 Pro. Siguro, sa image processing na lang kailangan nalang mag-adjust ng konti kasi nga yung color and skin tone ng tao dito is um, medyo hindi okay. But of course, mag improve yan. Well, they have to because they can't just be good sa gaming. Tapat sa lahat na para mas marami sila ma-reach na audience. That's just what I think. Ito may itsura ng low light and as you can see, medyo soft lang si Redmi Note 10 pero si Infinix Note 10 Pro kasi medyo grainy na. Ang dating para sa akin. Ito naman yung na selfie. Okay, so same lang din, no? It's actually more about the image processing na dito sa part na to. This was taken outside my backyard. At ito naman yung rear camera. Ito na yung quality sa likod. 1080p, 30 frames per second. Kamusta naman yung aking skin tone dito? Cinema sharp. Cinema okay. Pang video sa labas kapag ka merong issue. Tugaw! Ayan. So nakita nyo na ang difference between these two beasts. Mahirap mamili kung sino mas okay. I mean, every time na makita yung display ni Redmi Note 10, parang napaboko ko. Kasi nga, AMOLED eh. Kaya lang kasi may mga caveat siya sa gaming, sa performance. Doon siya parang bumawi. Umatras ng konti. Kaya kung nga, gamer ka, medyo madidismaya ka kay Redmi Note 10. Pero overall, no, kapag ka nanonood ka ng movies, nag-Facebook ka lang, at kung nag-Mobile Legends ka at high graphics, ay, ang ganda. Ang ganda ng graphics. Sobra. Pero, overall, performance-wise, it is undeniable that Infinix Note 10 Pro demolishes the Redmi Note 10 in every corner or every aspect. Magkara ba si Infinix Note 10 Pro? Here we go. Guys, si Infinix Note 10 Pro ay only 9,990 pesos for the 8128 version. Actually, yun ang kanyang version, 8128. <laughs> si Redmi Note 10 naman ay 9,990 pesos para sa 6128. Oh, 6 gigs of RAM lang. Ito, 8 gigs na. Pero meron naman siyang 464 variant itong si Redmi Note 10 which is only 8,490 pesos. Pero still, at under 10K, panalo. Infinix Note 10 Pro. For 10K, meron ka na mabilis na processor. Sobrang bilis. Meron ka bang high refresh rate display, malaking battery, 64MP camera. Gosh, what else can you ask for? Siguro si Bian Cake na lang. Ah! So, what do you think? Para sa inyo, sino mas okay sa dalawa? Are you Team Xiaomi? Or are you Team Infinix? Let me know guys in the comments below what you think. At syempre, magkakaroon pa tayong maraming comparisons, reviews, unboxing videos in our channel. Kaya mag-subscribe ka lang lagi at mag-hit ng bell icon para hindi nyo ma-miss ang aking mga videos and amazing content. Dito na yan sa Unbox Diaries. Apple si Beans. And you're watching Unbox Diaries. Hoo-hoo.